good eating if we do so she's full cool. <laughs> small yes. small tank on this thing huh all right so tell them what the plan is today what are we after well we're going out salmon fishing and we're gonna set up shallow and try to get them pretty early here before the sun comes up talk a little more about why we got to get out there so early you said something about the full moon? Yeah, so the bite's been pretty good and there's a lot of fish that have migrated up and kind of hung out in the Sheboygan area. And specifically like bigger kings have moved up in shallow. And a lot of times they'll feed all night long if it's full moon out, which it has been. And so it's kind of just coming off of the full moon. So we're gonna go out there early and see if we can get a couple before the sun comes up. And how are we fishing for them? And what else do we have the potential of catching? Um. We're going to have two downriggers, two dipsies, and some lead core lines that will get us down deep. We'll hopefully get a couple lake trout down deep on a downrigger. Um, probably mix in some coho and rainbow trout on the lines that are up higher. Um, and hopefully some kings mixed in on everything. Sounds good. You guys uh, hang on out. Marble 240 wasn't early enough, huh? Not first or last. <laughs> hey, Duff. What up, Pimp? You don't like that? Oh, she's got some babies there, that's why. Give her your space. Give her your space. Like butter. You got any predictions for today? Um, well, it looks like it's uh, a waning gibbous. <laughs> so, um, the fisherman's forecast is pretty good. It's pretty vicious, actually. Time is it? 424. It's a little earlier than you said. <laughs> Still there? Yeah. No, I'm not reeling at all. It's just... Dude, I'm already like half shaky. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, reel down best you can and then just kind of swing it up. Alright. 
Get that thing in here. What do you think it is? Uh, it's probably a rainbow. That was my guess. Possibly too. a world record. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been into some world class fish lately. So. <laughs> you should have seen what we were catching yesterday. <laughs> Small is just by the bunch is about this big. Really? <laughs> All right, back up. A little king salmon. Excellent. <laughs> it's that easy. You want to smell my fingers? <laughs> Will they get bigger than that, you think? I hope so. <laughs> You got him. Or you gotta run some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so what's gonna happen with this is uh We'll get the fish up and then that dipsy that's out of water there, um, you're going to have to hand line it in once we get there. Okay. Once I reel it up to that? Yeah. You can set that down. <laughs> I don't know much about this, but that looks like a tank. <laughs> Can I have the uh, remote control, please? Jeez. You want me to do anything besides yeah. hold this camera? <laughs> it seems chaotic. Sooner or later, we'll get everything set off. <laughs> Put them over the board, over the wall. <laughs> Here you go. Get in there, Simon. Just like that. <laughs> um, if you want to wash your hands off and then come grab this. So it'll come like right back here, so then you can kind of see what's going on a little bit. And then when I say just back up, so reel, try to reel down and then lift up and back up. Now that's a coal hole. Because of the way it is? Just by the way it is. And how do you actually know? Um, the head on it looks a little different. Like, it's easy to explain go. when you're looking at two of them, but <laughs> they uh, have kind of a blue tint to them. Might be a rainbow, you know. <laughs> oh, we got a double. <laughs> All right, now reel that in. I told you. <laughs> I always knew I was a gibbous man. <laughs> I think I got a garbage bag on the end of this. 
Oh, you didn't like that. No, you didn't. <laughs> Ooh, just barely. <laughs> no, that's the best rainbow truck. Oh, no. Did it pop off? I think he might have popped off. Pretty fish. Hook popped out, huh? Yeah. Hold him up for me. <laughs> That's a rainbow, right? How long has it been since we caught the last one? We're gonna get into a frenzy of them now, though. We're gonna have to defend ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> 196 feet to go. <laughs> and she's not budging. Does anything need to be taken off this line, or is it good no. to go? That's what's awesome about the downriggers. <laughs> Tanker. Jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Woo! Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's the only native fish in the lake. Is it going to fit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's seven? Seven, yeah. Do you want anything else here? Jake's got that Um. Just throw it right back in the net. Bent the hook. <laughs> Is there seven in there, he said? I think so. One trout and a variety pack of salmon. Which which type is the type you want to eat? Which one's going to be the best eating? Uh, these rainbow trout are pretty good. Um, king salmon's pretty good. And uh, the lake trout are a little greasier, but they're good smoked and stuff. Okay. Um, right away early we got the king and a few coho, and then it kind of shut down for about an hour and a half. Um, mm -hmm. we moved out deeper and kind of turned into a pot of fish and had like three or four bites right away. Um, was pretty good, spun back around on them um, and had I think five bites to end the day and didn't connect on a single one of them, which is pretty typical. You said you get about, you miss about a third of them. Seems like it. We had, I think, two that popped off 
after we saw them, which is pretty tough. Um, but it's, you know, you get a lot of bites that rip out drag and kind of throw the hook before you can start getting them in. Pretty nice king. And uh, quite the lake troll. What time is it? 11.45. I'm going to head in, probably see you either at the cleaning table or when we're preparing these suckers to eat. Pinterest easy honey garlic glazed salmon it says that the simple ingredients and it takes 20 minutes so that's what it's gonna look like when you're done probably not it will look good now get out of the kitchen no you can stay Bacon though, so we'll have to make the pizza in the pizza oven. This one's got that one. Mm, that smells good. I think so. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I found it on Pinterest. How long did it take you to put it together? More than 20 minutes. What, this? No, mm, the easy recipe. Oh. Not yet. Not yet? We're not done yet. Though. She promised that's what it's going to look like when it's done right there. I did there. not promise that. Sherry just said she thinks that I can do it right. Is that looking good? As far as I can tell. Well, salmon cooks base frequently with the sauce.
Ooh. Hot ads from that premium. She ready? I think so. Well, it looks pretty good. Looks like something you'd pay a lot for in a restaurant, maybe. Can we tell maybe. them it's a secret family recipe? All right. <laughs> Go give it to somebody. We gotta get their honest well, opinion. <laughs> I've gotta say. Nice marbling the through there. You're gonna be the you. You or Dad should eat it because Dad's the worst critic, and you might be the second worst. I don't so. really care for it. <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna like it. That's his deep fried. No. <laughs> yeah, there's some bones in there. Just ignore that. That wasn't my fault. That was Dan's fault. Lots of Chicken. That's you gotta just take, you gotta stay away from the middle section. Like if the bones all run in here, you just gotta peel it off the top or the bottom and they're fine. How is it? It's good, it's really tasty. It's got a good honey flavor to it. Okay. Zero to ten? Better than mine, even. I don't know. And it wasn't even on a cedar plank. Mm -hmm. What's he do? Broil it? <laughs> he started the cedar plank on fire? <laughs> I'm gonna dig in.